Hello friends, welcome back to another video on the channel. I hope you're all doing great. For anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. And yes, it has finally happened. We've got the cloning menu glitch back in version 1.1.2. Gonna take you through all of the steps with how to do it in today's video. So let's hop over to our Switch. What you wanna do is have, wanna be standing outside of Pokemon Center. Uh, best way to gauge whether you're outside the Pokemon Center or not uh, for knowing spaces to, so you can go straight in. Uh, is going to be just going into the Pokemon Center, coming back out. So, you know, if you hit up, you are going to be going into the Pokemon Center. Then you want to have your Poke Catch device open. You're going to have to have it on the hidden moves section and have your cursor hovered over fly. And what you want to do on this screen is kind of mash A and R together until you get the map up on the screen. So, you want to just do this over and over and you'll finally get it. It might take a few times. There we go. Okay. You want to be listening as well to your character because at this point you should be able to still move your character. So I'm just going to plug my headphones in so you can hear what you're doing. And you want to hit up to go into the Pokemon Center. So as soon as you're in the Pokemon Center, what you want to be doing is going up two spaces. So one, two, and then you want to go across like seven steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That should take you down the escalators into the the union room area you want to hit when you're down there when you've heard all that animation finish you want to hit right again and that will take you back up and then when you're up here you want to hit left five times one two three four five and then down three times one two three or two times whatever uh, but you'll get outside the pokemon center doing this and once you're outside the Pokemon Center, then you want to change over to your right analog stick because that's not going to move your character, but you are going to be able to go over to different places on the map because you want to select somewhere that you can fly to. So this next step is a bit tricky. What you want to do is hitting A and then X after it. The problem is if you get this wrong, it will freeze your game. So before you start this whole process, it is worth just saving your game before you start this so if it does go wrong if it does freeze you can just restart your game and then boot it up again what you want to do is hit a and x like i said so you're gonna bring up the option to fly somewhere so the yes or no but you want to have the menu over the top it's getting the timing right of it really in this screen because i've done it a few times and it's crashed a few times and i've done it a few times and got it right and it's just trying to get the the the, the timing right so you want to let about here i think it's worth just letting you know at this point the times that i've got this right is when i've let the city name or the location name kind of populate in that box. So Sunny Shore City is where we go on right now. I've let Sunny Shore City and the question mark appear in the text and that's when I've hit X. And that's when it's been successful every time. So it's kind of just getting your timing right. Don't prematurely hit the X because that will cause the yes no option to not appear and then you're gonna be stuck in this screen and you're gonna to have to reset. But if you let that kind of location place populate and then hit the X just as it's finishing in the text box, that should be the, the way that it kind of works. So here we go. You can see I've got the option to fly still, but I got the menu open. So um, I want to hit yes. It will fly, but the menu will stay open when you're doing this. Like I said, just be patient with this step because, like I said, getting it wrong will just make the map just appear and you can bring the menu back up, but you're not going to have that option to, to actually fly anywhere, which makes it a little bit tricky. So um, if it does happen, if it does freeze, just reset your game. Like I said, just save before you start this whole process. And when you do have to restart, you have to go uh, bring the menu, uh, the map up, go into the Pokemon Center, come back out again and start this whole thing again to do it properly. But now, as you can see, we can move our character around if we want, but we have got the menu up, so it does work. Rather than moving your character around with your left analog stick, just use your right analog stick and you'll be able to use uh, go through the menu without moving your character. So what you want to do is go into Pokemon and then go into boxes. And you can see here, if I go, we've got an empty box here, we've got a box here. So what you want to do on this screen right now, you want to just hit, uh, click into a Pokemon. So you've got this list and then you want to hit X. And then what you want to do is you see the, the menu glitch is appearing again. So you've got a menu inside a menu. You want to go inside this menu. You want to go inside these boxes and the box that you want to clone, you want to hit Y twice, select the Pokemon. I'm going to come back over drop them here and then you want to hit B and hit B and then you want to hit B and then you want to go down check summary and then congratulations the box will be cloned and as you can see oh 
if we do you can do it again and again and again if you want um but there is the the glitch so you can you can go back in and do this again if you want um if you've got another spare box to do it but that is pretty much how you do it just press b and press b out and then you are fine and then you can come back in and you can check that you have done the glitch and you can see items have been cloned and pokemon have been cloned as well so that is how to do it and as you can see if we go back to our home menu you can check on the version just press x on here and we are on version 1.1.2 so there's the proof in the pudding the trickiest part is i think friends is being able to do the the flying part of it so when you've got that menu open once you've been in the pokemon center come out and you want to fly somewhere it's getting that menu screen open while you're flying so that's the trickiest part it will take a little bit of patience because getting the timing right of that is a little bit tricky but we have got a way to clone pokemon clone items again in 1.1.2 so possibilities of doing other things that we've done before are endless now so we will be covering other updates with the glitch what we can do with it other advantages that you can have in game as we go forward if you'd like to see more do let me know down in the comment section below and if you've enjoyed today's video and find it useful please leave a comment down below leave a like on the video and do consider subscribing to the channel um and then we'll leave it there so thanks for tuning in have a great rest of your day and i'll see you for the next one Take care and bye-bye.